Have you accidentally downloaded every single 3DS game onto your system and run out of space? Well, let me tell you how you can unlock the full storage potential that the 3DS has to offer with 3DS Bank. 3DS Bank is a program that essentially creates duplicate 3DS folders for your homebrew 3DS to bypass the 300 tile limit that exists. It is a very niche issue as most homebrew 3DS users won't hit the 300 tile limit. However, this may change as the eShop closes and more people flock to homebrewing their system. Heck, I discovered this underrated app while trying to fit every North American 3DS release onto my 2DS. Click that title card to see the video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. I want to mention a couple of things before we begin. First, this tutorial assumes that you already have a homebrewed 3DS. If you don't, pause this video and head to the description where I've linked a complete guide by Anton Retro about how to homebrew your system. Second, 3DS Bank only bypasses the 300 tile limit. It does not bypass any memory limitations such as the size of your SD card or the 40 tile DSiWare limit. Let's get started. The installation is simple. Click the link to the GitHub in the description. Once you're there, you want to download the 3dsbank.cia. Once you have this downloaded, open your SD with the 3ds files in it and plop that .cia file right into your CIA folder. If you already know how to install CIAs, this should be familiar. If not, insert the SD back into your 3ds, go into FBI, click SD, then CIAs, then select 3ds bank, then install. Once you have this installed, open the 3ds bank app. The app will take a while to load, so be patient. Once loaded, hold the home or power button down to create a new folder. Tip, in order to avoid creating unnecessary folders, select the bank you would like to return to rather than hitting home to exit from the app, since hitting home will just create more folders. You can create as many folders as your heart desires, so go crazy. You can also name the folders whatever you would like. Turn off your 3DS, insert the SD into your PC, and return to the 3DS files and click on the 3DS bank folder then 3dsbank.ini and open it with a notepad editor. You should see 3ds bank in brackets and the folder underscore slot equals one under it. Press the enter key once below the bracketed title and type the following format to edit the name of your folders. In all caps, slot underscore name underscore then the folder number. Zero is your original 3ds home menu and the rest represents created folders. After this, enter space equals, then another space, then whatever you want the folder name to be. In this case, I did good games and bad games to show how you can better organize your library into folders. Now you may wonder, how do you dedicate certain games to certain folders? First, you must be in the folder that you wish to download CIAs to. Don't worry, they all share the same .cia folder. You can either use HShop or download directly from FBI. In any case, that title will then be exclusively in the selected folder. To delete a CIA from a selected folder, enter the system settings of that folder, then select Data Management, then Nintendo 3DS, then Software, then the selected title, and hit Delete. And there you have it, everything you need to know about the underrated homebrew app 3DS Bank. The only limit for capacity is now the size of the SD card, which I have pushed to its limit with one terabyte. I believe the only other option is two terabytes, but I've yet to test that and it's a very pricey option. One terabyte fits every North American release with some spare memory, so you should be safe. I just wanted to say real quick, thank you for all the continued support on my channel. I was not expecting all of the attention the first video received, so please leave your homebrewing suggestions in the comments. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. 